Hey, Josh here. I'm going to do a super quick video on how to use uh, some of the settings in the eHab platform. So on the bottom left, you can see settings uh, and we have the thresholds tab. So this is where our risk matrix is stored. Um, and this is where you can edit these thresholds if you would like. So we've got about 80 categories and that we categorize work into and you can manually uh, edit these here. So if you go minus 18, uh, I can save this uh, and that will now be the new risk matrix that information is pulled from. So if you have any plans in your uh, in your system, you'll be prompted to re-simulate um, with, with those fresh thresholds. Um, you can also export this risk matrix as an Excel. And as long as you follow the same format that is in the Excel, you can edit on mass you can change the names, you can add new risk um, categories as well. Of course, calling them whatever you would like. As long as you follow the same format in that Excel, then you will be able to import. It will tell you if, uh, on the import if you've, if you've got it wrong. So just make sure you check that. Once you import that, that will then be the new risk matrix that your, uh, your model uh, in the system is running from. So really quick and easy. Um, if you have any more questions or any feedback on this screen, then there's an email just below that you can get in touch with us at. Thanks for listening.